How you doing, guys? How you doing out there, guys? How you doing out there? Yes, yes, I'm back again. Yes, it's a little of me again. Uh, this time it's not a sad story, but uh, uh, I don't know what you call it. But anyway, the law enforcement people in the state side, I'm mentioning the state side, not the Canadian side of things. This is from the coming from the Canadian side. Of, <laughs> sorry, I got all mixed up again. Uh, the, uh, the state side. Uh, state side meaning the United States. Um... Uh, they're gonna find. Uh, they're gonna look for this guy named Brian Laundry. Did I say his last name right? Laundry. No. <laughs> anyway, anyway, folks, uh, his age is 23 years old. I'm gonna put this up on my YouTube channel. Yes, I'm going to put this on the YouTube channel. I'll put the hashtag what you see on the screen. Um, it's called Find Brian. Uh, all the information is really on the screen, folks. Um, and we're we're gonna we're gonna help out with these people from the state side. I'm coming from the Canadian side of things. Uh, I, I live in Canada. Did, did you know, kind of thing. Uh, so I live in Canada. Um, this this is nationwide at this moment. Uh, it doesn't matter where you live in this world. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna look for this Brian guy. It doesn't matter if you live in Canada, United States. It doesn't matter if you live in Chinese, you know, <laughs> Guanda. <laughs> anyway, not to be funny, folks. Uh, anywhere in this world, uh, uh, they're they're hearing this on a police scanner. Uh, can you believe this, folks? On a police scanner, a twenty-four hour they call it the twenty-four hour, seven days a week police scanner. Uh, it's an app. Yes, that's right, folks. An app. Uh, a police scanner is just you listen, listening in. You're not talking on the channel, the actual channel that these police people talk on. Uh, you can't talk to them. You just can't talk to them. They have a, get this, they have a cryptid, uh, a cryptid walkie-talkie, so the public can't talk to them on their walkie-talkies. They have a crypt, they call the crypt walkie-talkies. They, they use Motorola walkie-talkies, and they're a crypt, uh, crypt. How do you say A crypt. Uh, so the public can't talk to them. Uh, they, basically what they do, they uh, design them so the public doesn't uh, talk to them. It's a, it's an emergency line. It's basically a emergency line um, that they set up. Uh, I'm not kidding, folks. This is through a police scanner uh, app. Um, uh, this is from the sheriff. This is from the Florida area. And designed an app called the police scanner. That's right, folks. A police scanner. 24 hour. It doesn't matter uh, a day, time, or year it's going to be. It's 24 or 7. You know what that means. Uh, so... It doesn't matter what day it is, what time it is, doesn't matter if it's day or night, doesn't matter if it's uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, doesn't matter if it's 12 o'clock at night, doesn't matter if it's 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, they're going to find this guy. Uh, so I'm going to put the hashtag, folks, listen to me very carefully. The hashtag is called hashtag find Brian. Uh, the scanners, this is the police scanners in the state side coming from Florida, this is the sheriff area. Um, uh, Sarasota, if I can remember, the, it's coming from the Sheriff Sonners County on the police scanners uh, in Florida. That's the sheriff area. Uh, so go on to the police scanners. That's the police scanners. Uh, there's there, there are walkie talkies. The police that carry around their walkie talkies, they're encrypted for the public, so they can't uh, overlap their emergency walkie talkies. The special kind of walkie talkies that are designed for this. Um, so they encrypt it out to the public, so the public can't talk to them through their walkie-talkies. Um, so it's emergency, they call it the emergency line. Um, so it's only designed for emergency line for the police scanners. So there you go, folks. Uh, you can listen to them, but you can't talk to these people, these law enforcement people, uh, through the app. It's only a police scanner. That's the name implies, as they always say. Uh, it just listens for police and just uh, just uh, mercy vehicles of any kind, basically. Any mercy vehicles. It could be fire, ambulance, police. It doesn't matter, any of those. So, folks, I'm just going to put my hashtag on my YouTube channel going. It's going to be, uh, first I'm going to put Finding Brian, the first title of this video. Find Brian. And uh, they pegged, get this, they pegged, uh, the war. Uh, I'm almost saying that. Uh, the uh, what was it again? Uh, 20k. That's 20k uh, people for the award. 
That's the right. The award is out there, folks. I, I didn't put it out there. They did. The people who uh, put it out there. Uh, 20K, that's 20K reward if you find Brian. Yes. Folks, do you get an award if you find these people? That's right. I'm not kidding. If you find this person, you get that 20K. Uh, just find in person because uh, he's wa he's basically wanted for the FBI. Uh, uh, this Brian Laundry guy. Um, he, there's a one eight hundred number. I'm not going to say the one eight hundred number here, um, but you guys will probably figure that one out. Um, but anyway, uh, it says here the feed status. It's online. The listeners are about two hundred. Two hundred listeners on the Police Scanner app. That's the Police Scanner app. Um, this is Sarah, Sarah, Sarah uh, how do you say it? Sarasota County, Florida, Sheriff Place, you know, the Sheriff Office or whatever it is. Um, we're listening on the police scanners on this one. So we're listening to all communication. Remember that, folks, communication here, we're talking about here. Uh, so police scanners are on the Florida area, uh, Sarasota County, that's county, uh, Florida Sheriff uh, uh, area. Uh, they're listening to them on the police scanners app. This the app, not a walkie-talkie or anything like that. Um, just the app. You know, you go into your uh, mobile devices and uh, download, as they say, the app. Uh, but it's the police scanners. You only listen to it, but you can't talk to them. Um, that's the hard part, folks. Uh, you, you can only listen to them because they're in the mercy. Uh, you, you know how police scanners work. Um, they only, they're on a mercy line. They call it the mercy line. So they don't want you to go on their line. Um, so there you go, folks. Um, and so it's a police scanner, 24-7. You know what that means. A night and day. It's like night and day, seven days a week. Night and day. Um, so we're going to put this on the title, folks. I'm going to say for everybody. Oh, don't forget, everybody. Uh, the Gabby girl. The Gabby girl, a week ago, they found her body. Yes, folks, they did find her body. Sadly enough, I hate to say it, I had the sixth sense. I had the sixth sense. You know, we have the senses in our lives. Uh, the sixth sense is I sense dead people. Remember that film called The Sixth Sense? Well, I had the capability of doing that as well. I sense dead people. That body that they found last week is none other than Gabby they found. Uh, they're going to have the funeral service starting... I would say Sunday, whatever Sunday it is. It's uh, basically it's September. What is it? September twenty sixth of twenty. Was it twenty? Uh, yeah, twenty twenty one. And it's some, it's sometime in the middle of the day. Sometime in the middle of the day, not middle of the night. Just middle of the day. They're going to have the funeral service, and, the, and they said the public's allowed to go see it. Uh, so I'm saying it right near. Uh, I'm making this public now. Uh, so they're going to have the funeral service starting sometime tomorrow, middle of the day. I'm not giving you a time or uh, time and the place where it's going to be. You guys will have to figure that one out. Um, so uh, tomorrow is the actual funeral service. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm going to cross my fingers, I hope it's uh, shown live on a YouTube channel, somewhere on the YouTube channels. Um, so I'll find it tomorrow, folks. Don't worry. Don't need to worry. Don't uh, huff and puff. I'll find it, okay? I'll find it tomorrow, I promise you. If I don't find it, there might be some highlights after. So if I don't find it, I'll see it in the highlights. Uh, so there'll be some uh, some live streaming uh, of this funeral service, we hope. Cross our fingers, we're hoping some uh, some live streaming footage of it starting tomorrow. Sometime in the middle of the day, we don't know exactly the time. Uh, but we're still in sometime in the middle of the day, folks. Uh, but yeah, um, they're looking for Brian. Gabby girl is now long gone. Her spirit is living in the heavens. Uh, the guy that I uh, I heard today, I'm going to mention his name if you don't mind. Um, the guy who I've heard who did the spirit, uh, no, this is only spirit communication. This is only spirit communication in the afterlife. Uh, this is like spiritual communication I'm talking about, folks. Just bear this in mind. Uh, so in the afterlife, uh, there's ways of dealing with the uh, with the spiritual uh, sense, the spiritual sense. Now, now this. Now remember, folks. I'll give you just. Uh, I'll give you this. Uh, like I said, when we when all of our people around the world pass away, our soul will never die. Our body does. Our own bodies that we have with us are going to go underground. 
when her soul will live on in the in the afterlife. I'm saying this because I know this very clearly. I've been watching paranormal videos for a long time. I know all about this stuff. What I'm saying, uh, I've heard it through experts, through YouTubers. Um, so, based on what, uh, based on my knowledge, folks, I know what I'm talking about about the afterlife. I've heard about it. I know what these people have to deal with, the spirit side of things. Um, so remember, folks, you, uh, the people around the world, all this, all this you see in front of you is all skin, all skin related. Uh, your body, your own body, your whole flesh and blood goes underground or be cremated. Uh, the second, they have two choices in, uh, to get rid, well, they usually say get rid of the body in a nice way. Uh, they either cremate the body which you're not supposed to do. The body does uh, the uh, the the Bible does not mention about cremation. They call it the cremation word. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the Bible does not mention about cremation. It does mean that our own bodies that we go around with uh, lays to rest. That means lays underground, six feet underground, and um, that's when the funeral has been finished and they lay the body, the casket, underground and the body inside, underground, and, uh, and that's it, that's it, and they put a headstone, and Bob's your uncle, basically. That's it, that's it when you get in life. Um, so that's what they're gonna do with Gabby. Now, I don't know what the Gabby's uh, family are gonna do, either cremation, I've heard earlier that they were, they're going about to do cremation or the burial, they call it the burial, folks. I know what I'm saying here, what I'm saying. Uh, so they either go to do the burial or cremation, whatever way the family feels that it's necessary to do. Uh, that has to do with the fun uh, funeral services or the funeral homes. Um, that part they'll uh, they'll have to figure out what they're going to do uh, beyond that. But oh yeah, GoFundMe pages. Before I forget, folks, there will be GoFundMe pages out there for this entire uh, this entire thing. Uh, GoFundMe pages will be up there. It's only for donations only. I'm only saying it from, from my mouth. Donations only, okay? Through donations. Um, we don't... Um, it, that means with GoFundMe pages, only through donations, if you know what that, what that entails. Uh, donations. So every every money does count, goes through worthy cause. I'm not joking. This is not a, a put out uh, to you guys. It's not to do with... Uh, just, it's two donations. Just bear that in mind. Two donations to the GoFundMe pages. So there you go, folks. Um, so I'm trying to say everything all. And uh, yeah, here we are still at the end of September. And a month ago, uh, they, we, saw the, we saw the body cam footage. I'm not going to mention any more. We saw the body cam footage. Now here we are at the end of September. Uh, they found uh, Gabby's body. Yes, they mentioned it like a week ago. Uh, they found her, uh, people didn't know who the body, there was, everybody was playing, uh, placing their bets. They, they thought either it was the boyfriend or the girlfriend, Gabby, or the Brian guy. Um, I want to put it that out there for you guys. I'm not a betting man. I'm not a betting man at any cost, okay? At any cost. Um, but now here we are at the end of September. Now we have to deal with the situation we got, right? As they say, as everybody in the world would say. So here, here here's here's where we're at, at at the end of September. They're going to look for Brian, wherever he may be. I'm just saying wherever he may be. He's age 23. Yes, if you're wondering about his age, if people want to ask that question, he's age 23. Uh, remember, so 23 of his of his life, uh, if he's still alive uh, in the living. That means he's got to be live in the living, not in the dead. You know, like buried six feet underground. Um, they want they want this guy to be alive, not dead. Basically, I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying here, folks. They want him to be alive and not dead. Uh, it's not good when their person's dead. Uh, it's useless to them, basically. Uh, so, uh, so what? Uh, but when they pass away, then we have to get questions beyond the spirit. Uh, the spirit connections. We get the spirit connections in the afterlife uh, before they go into the light. The, the Jesus gives them the light. Um, if you ever ever took about, if you ever did a spirit communication, um, if you're well in doubt to do this, uh, you uh, you bring the spirit, the body of that person, or the or the spirit of that person into the light in the afterlife. 
uh, the light in the afterlife, what God wants us to do, going to the light in, in the heavens and go to Jesus. Go to Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. Remember, say that, folks. Our Lord and Savior. That's what we're not going to go to death to hell. Uh, I won't mention here about what the depths of hell means. Uh, so I've seen it uh, on some of the video, on some of the YouTube videos about what the depths of hell really means in theory. Uh, so I don't know if that's true or not, based on what I know about heaven and hell. Uh, heaven is where you go, where you see Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. He's going to, uh, he's going to be there at the pearly gates. Uh, so that, based on what I'm telling you right now. Uh, as, a, as a human, as an individual person. Um, so when they pass away, when your body, your own body, goes underground, your soul, of some capacity, is going to lift off the body and go to the heavens. Go into the heavens, like up in the sky, into the heavens. And uh, be a, remain there to eternity. I'm going to say the word eternity. Uh, that means you're going to be with the Lord, with Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. you got to say that. Because uh, uh, you don't want to go into a dips of hell. Uh, you really don't, and I'm saying this to for the, all the Bible people out there. Uh, go, go where Jesus Christ wants you to go to. Uh, you know, they don't want you to go to depths of hell where, where the devil or any of those uh, people are. They're in that depths of hell. They're screaming blue murder in depths of hell. Uh, I've seen that on on YouTube videos, and it's not good. Uh, us humans are not going to go to hell. We're all going to go to heaven. And we're going to go to where Jesus Christ is in the heavens. Um, we need to uh, we need to acknowledge Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. We need to acknowledge that uh, as human as a human species on this planet. I'm not kidding, folks. On this world, we are human species. We're not we're not some kind of robots. Uh, we're human people on this planet. We have feelings. We get hurt. We cry. We sad. We're angry. We're mad. We get fed up. We get, uh, so we have feelings. We're humans. We're not robots. And I say this time and time again. We're humans. We're, we got a human aspect. We have human feelings. We, we cry when we cry. We're la we laugh when we laugh. Uh, some things can be serious. Some things can be non-serious. And we can laugh with each other or act with someone. But you know what I mean. But we're all human on this planet. We're all going to go to our Lord and Savior, or Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Always say that, folks out there. Say that. Because you, uh, you need to, uh, uh, as they say, to repent. Repent. Say, say it. When you're in the, in the Lord, when you're in the, with the Lord, or Jesus Christ the Lord, say, keep saying, I want to be saved. I want to be saved by Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior. But say that. Jesus Christ, I uh, want you to say that. Because uh, uh, you need to be saved uh, by Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior. Uh, yeah, he's our Lord and Savior, our Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior out there. And God, wherever he may be, you're the person, it's some kind of higher power, the higher power that I'm talking about, or speaking of, um, in our world today. Um, we have so-called, um, the Bible does, uh, does uh, the Bible does describe in the book about Jesus Christ. Uh, we do go, um, even children, they even mentioned children in the Bible, so, God's children, God's children, in some verse uh, in the Bible, it does mention that we're God's children. And we basically are. Um, so there you go, folks. But I want to I wanna just home in on this finding Brian at the moment. I'm sick to death by all this stuff. I'm really, at this point, at, on the tail end of the September, I'm sick to death. I just want, I just want this to all to be over about finding Brian and get, uh, just... I'm sick of death of all this. Just, they should just, this Brian should just come clean. Just, just, you know, I hope, I hope this ends very shortly. I really do. I really, for everybody's sake around the world. You know, this is like a mystery. It didn't have to happen this way for both these couples, the way that it did. Uh, so send love, yeah, send love out there. Pray, pray for Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. Uh, I, I do what I mean what I mean, okay, folks? I read, I did my research about the church, uh, the Bible stuff. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm into this sort of thing uh, a bit here and there. Uh, so, yeah, go pray to Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. Uh, you don't want to go to the depths of hell. You don't want to go where the demons are. Uh, they'll, they'll destroy you in the, in the hell world. Uh, so... 
So, yeah. So, just like I said, uh, they were lied to. All these human beings on this planet were lied to. They go to depths of hell, where the demon is. Um, so, so yeah, just pray to Jesus. He's your Lord and Savior in this world. He's going to give you forgiveness for what you've done wrong in this world. And I mean that, folks, so bear that in mind. So there we go, folks. I've said a lot. Uh, the hashtag, go uh, find Brian. Uh, there's a police scanner that you guys can go download, as they say. 24-7 uh, police scanner. You can only listen to it, but you can't talk to these people. Because um, it's only a scanner. Remember, it's only a scanner. It's not, a, it's not something where you, uh, you, t uh, you talk into a microphone. You can only listen. You can only listen. Listening only. Uh, but this this is coming from the Sarasota County, Florida Sheriff. So that's coming from that county, uh, what you hear on the scanners. Uh, so there you go, folks. Um, I said a lot. I, I, and I've seen a lot of this whole entire Gabby story and the Brian story. I really am up to hear about this. Uh, I don't need to say any more. I really don't need to say any more. I'm, I'm sympathetic about all this. I really am. And you can laugh about it if you want. But I'm just sympathetic about all this. Um, uh, it's just, it just, we're at to a point that we know that Gabby's passed away. We know we found, they found their body. I was really appreciate that they did. Um, in a weird circumstance, I should say in weird circumstances. But yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, just bear this in mind, folks. We're just, we're human beings. We're, we're just human beings. We're not robots. And uh, so I would like to say uh, for the family, yes, what about the family, as people would say. Well, I'm going to send my, send my regards to the family. I don't know them personally. I want to put that out there. I'm not a <laughs> tongue tied here, folks. I don't know them personally, but through the, through the videos I saw and the photos, um, and it, it, they look like a nice couple. And so, some of my regards to the family, the Gabby family. Uh, one of my YouTubers, uh, Huff Paranormal, did a spirit communication to Gabby in the afterlife. I kid you not. Um, and he was trying to, ask, uh, trying to ask questions about Gabby in the afterlife. About what kind of message that she wants to send to the family. Uh, already in the living. Uh, so... Um, Gabby said uh, she loves her dad and her mom, and that's what I got out of it, uh, from the sp spiritual sense uh, side of things. Uh, so, and uh, we didn't get the answers that we were looking for. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. Yes, you could be disappointed. Uh, uh, Gabby didn't mention about who killed her or anything like that. Just thought I'd put that out there. Uh, I was hoping that she would mention that in the spiritual sense, in the spirit communication sense. Um, remember, this is a, through a ghost box. This is through a ghost box, a ghost box session in the spiritual realm uh, when we all pass away. Um, so yeah, um, if you uh, have this capability to sense this, one guy did. Uh, one guy did the uh, tarot cards. Almost forgot about that. that tarot cards, everybody. Uh, and the psychic reading, the psychic reading of these two couples who you're, who they're looking for. Well, not really looking for both couples. I mean, for Brian and Gabby, uh, they did a tarot card reading on both of them. Uh, so, and uh, I appreciate that guy who did the tarot card reading. I listened to it very carefully on the headphones. I want to point that out. I did listen to that, and um, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. Uh, I think can safely say that this should be over. This should be definitely over. Uh, this end this madness that everybody's going through this situation with Brian and Gabby. Just end this serene. And let's let's move on with their lives, shall we? So I want to say, uh, send my regards to both families, I mean that literally, for Brian's family and Gabby's family. Um, they might be at the funeral service tomorrow, sometime in the afternoon, I don't know exactly time, uh, sometime tomorrow in the afternoon, um, they might they might have it live streamed tomorrow. They might have it live streamed somewhere on YouTube. Um, if they don't, I'll probably see it in the recommendation on YouTube videos. I might see it there. So there you go, folks. Um, if I don't, they might give the highlights out there. Uh, so there you go, folks. 
there you go. So I'm going to end this end this uh, podcast. I'll put it up on my YouTube channel. I will put the hashtag up there just in case uh, they haven't found uh, Brian's body. <laughs> I'm just saying, just saying, folks. Uh, so we're going to do the hashtag. First, we're going to put the hashtag, and we're going to really, really oh, hit it home. Like, hit it really home. Uh, 20K reward. Yes, uh, I'm seeing on the screen here, 20K reward, if you find them. Uh, the 1-800 number, yes, yes, that's right, they put it up on the screen. So there we go, folks. We're out of here. Thank you very much.